As I said, they're dancing in the streets of many, many countries right now. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, no, we're not looking to do that at all. And also, Mr. President, 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 do you think that we can see a full withdrawal? Uh, Mr. President, can you cut through the politics on the shutdown? We had another failed vote today. Can you speak to our viewers from Orlando to Sacramento? What's your message to some of these families tonight facing missed paychecks, potential layoffs, and missed benefits due to the shutdown? Yeah, I blame the Democrats. They ought to uh, call their local Democrat representative, whether it's a senator or a congressman, and uh, it's their fault. I mean, they admit it, it's their fault. Uh, they campaigned on the fact that they'd never shut down the country, but they want to shut it down. And, you know, we have the greatest economy. We're the hottest country in the world right now. I think you'd admit that. The hottest country. We went from a dead country a year ago to the hottest country in the world. So I think they probably don't like that. But uh, we're doing great. I mean, we're doing great. I would say my, my message is call your local representative, uh, congressman or senator, and tell them to get on the ball. The Democrats have caused this problem. Can I ask Mr. one more? One more around Congressman yeah, Randy Fine. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Where are you so, from? I'm from Finland. It's so nice. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go, here so, we go with a killer question. I would like to circle back to the icebreaker deal. Um, so Finland and the U.S. are strengthening their economic uh, partnership yeah. through the deal. Uh, what other areas of co cooperation with Finland do you see as possible for at this moment? Good question. We're going to be talking about that in a little while. We're going into the uh, next door room, commonly known as the cabinet room, beautiful room, and we're going to be discussing that. Uh, but we'll be doing other things. It's a wonderful country with wonderful people. We've had a, a long-term relationship, but it's never been as close as as it is now. I could, can we'll I, be doing other I'll, things. Go I'll ahead. Give you, I mean, we've been talking about a lot with the president. I mean, the <clears> two <throat> specific fields where I think Finland has strengths. One is quantum and quantum computing. And yeah. we know that that is basically what gives food for thought for artificial intelligence. That's very important. The second one is actually networks. And you know that there are two sort of safe and trustworthy Western networks right now. One of them is Nokia. Uh, and the other one is uh, Ericsson. And actually, 70% of all broadband in the United States is Nokia. So one of the things that we could work on together is creating the 6G uh, space uh, through networks. And we actually, Nokia has 7,000 people working here in the United States and an American CEO. Okay, anybody else? Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President. What, is, what is the international stabilization force that's going to deploy to Gaza? What, the, what is that going to look like? What, uh, to be determined, uh, really, to, I think, there's going to be a large group of people determining what it will be, and a group of people funding it that are very rich countries are going to be funding it. Uh, people want to see this work. It's going to work. It's absolutely going to work. And it starts, uh, it's already started. We've 